Sometimes you are presented with a situation where you need to select certain components out of a large group of other components, and this can be somewhat challenging. In this quick tip, I'm going to show some methods that may help and speed up your selection process. In this example, you can see that we have many components all in a group. We would like to select certain ones out of this group. If we just click on a part, you will notice that it only selects a face, not the whole body. So instead, let's use the Window Selection tool. I want to select the two washer-looking parts. Notice when I try and draw a selection box around them, it tries to drag the part next to it instead of drawing a selection box. You can disable this by unchecking Component Drag in the Select menu. Now, I am able to draw the selection box on top of the other part. This is called a window selection. However, notice that it selects surrounding faces on other models, and this is not what we want. This time, let's select from right to left. Notice that the window looks different. This is called a crossing selection. All you have to do is touch a part of the model with your crossing window, and it will select the whole part. It defaults to selecting bodies instead of selecting faces. I use crossing selection all the time. Also, you can hold down the control key on the keyboard to unselect any part that got selected. Once you have selected what you want, you can right click and pick Create Selection Set. This captures your selection into the browser and you can come back at any time and quickly reselect your previous selections. But what if your objects aren't as organized as in this example? Well, here's another tip I use all the time, and that is select by size. Under the select menu, then under selection tools, you'll find select by size. In the dialog that appears, you can specify a minimum and a maximum selection size. Notice currently that the two smallest parts are selected. As we drag the maximum slider to the right, we can see the larger objects start to get selected. I want to select the small rounded pieces out of all of these parts. I'm going to drag the maximum size slider until they highlight blue. Then, I can drag the minimum slider to unselect the parts that are smaller than the pieces that we want. We'll hit OK, and then save these as a selection set. Let's do that again to select all of the notched oval pieces. Again, we will create a selection set for these pieces. Hopefully, these selection tips will help you on future projects.